Nobody wants to believe in Bigfoot more uh, than me. Nobody. I worked. I worked up in uh, in the Northwest Territories. I was a flex track uh, assistant mechanic on tundra crawlers, and I was a road surveyor when I was a kid. I uh, worked for the Department of Public Works, and we were up there along the Nahani River, the Headless River, where explorers would go in and they'd find their heads and then never come back. That kind of they find all their kind heads. Of, yeah, they, they find Bigfoot heads. No, 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 just the, oh, uh, the human heads. Human heads. The Headless Valley, the Headless River, Nahani Ooh. River, and a H A N and I. But when I went up there. And was with the survey people. There had been guys who'd been up there, you know, uh, you know, years before me, and they and they said that uh, Sasquatch was a common thing that was spoken about among the natives and among the survey crews up there. Deep in the heart of the Canadian North lies a mysterious valley shrouded in legend, lured by tales of lost gold. Prospectors who enter it tend to lose their heads or vanish without a trace. Some say that the valley is cursed, haunted by an evil spirit whose wailings echo in the canyons. Others claim it is haunted monsters, relics of its prehistoric past. 